Welcome back to the Morning Scramble, everybody. Okay, well, you've been hearing a lot in the news lately about organic food. And is it really better for you? Well, the president and the CEO of the Southwest College of Naturopathic Medicine, Dr. Paul Mittman, is joining us this morning to talk about eating foods that promote good health and is organic really better? All right, doctor, talking about organic food. All is right. it really better for me? Well, Lisa, let's cut to the chase. Okay. And to help us, I brought some food with us. Okay. I brought an apple which happens to be organically grown. You can tell because it's got a label on the bottom that says organic. Okay. When you go to the store, if you're buying organic, there's always a number that they punch into the cash register. If it starts with a nine, that means it's organic. And the answer is that it depends on the food. Depends on the food. You know, the study said that the nutrients in organic and conventional are about the same. And, and you know what? This is the Stanford University study The Stanford study, study that, was that out. came out a week ago. Okay. And I've always thought that to be the case. The question is not what are you getting in the food, but what aren't you getting in the food. The study also showed that in, in uh, conventional versus organic, you get 30% less pesticide residue. Now, we use over a billion pounds of pesticides in the United States every year. That's a lot of pesticide, and it ends up somewhere. Some of it ends up on food, and some of it, you know, does not. And it really depends on the food. And the reason I brought you an apple okay. is because apples happen to be one of the foods that have a lot of pesticide residue. And why is that? Either because of the, um, the fact that it's on a tree and it gets sprayed, as opposed to something that grows in the ground. It also depends on the thickness of the skin, so like a peach is very high in, in residue also. Strawberries too? Strawberries too. And so okay. I brought a list. The Dirty Dozen. The Dirty Dozen. And so, you know, practically speaking, we can't eat all organic. It's, it's probably impossible to eat all organic food. And so as a consumer and someone who's health oriented, you know, we have to make choices. And so if we want to, we avoid the dirty dozen, and, and in not we don't eat them, but we you know we eat those organic. Okay, so and on the list of the dirty dozen, to buy if you're going to buy organic and, sure. and kind of pay a little bit more, some of the top items on the list are apples, celery, strawberries, peaches, spinach. Let's see if I can show this. Okay, can you guys see this? I'll keep reading here. You know, Peaches we posted and this spinach. on our Oh, did website. you? Nectarine. You guys are, I'm getting cues over here and over there. Grapes, sweet bell peppers, uh, potatoes, blueberries, lettuce, kale, and collard greens. All right, but with that being said, and there is such a difference in price. Sure. Couldn't I just go to the store, get my Fit Spray, which they say is made with organic grapefruit oil? but it also says that it's 100% natural. Sure. Spray it on an apple that I bought at a conventional store and save some money that way? Absolutely. Okay, but so, and why is it so expensive, buying organic? Well, the question about is it expensive, you know who sells the most organic food in the United States? Who? Take a guess. Um, Walmart. Really? Walmart is the large, well, it's the largest retailer in the United States. Walmart sells a lot of organic food. You know where you can get organic spinach is at Costco. At Costco. I saw that they uh, a lot more of You don't have to go to Whole Foods to buy everything. You have to sort of, you have to be strategic about, you know, where you're going to shop. Trader Joe's, Whole Foods, Costco. You know, even I go to Albertsons and I can find organic food. You know, the, the selection at at a Whole Foods is very different than the selection at a Costco. And I think, you know, like the rest, of, like everything else that we do in our lives, you have to decide, you know, how much money you're gonna spend at one place, how much money you're gonna spend in another place, and, and what's the best way to make your grocery dollars, you know, go the furthest. Stretch the farthest. You know, I, I don't know many people who can only shop at Whole Foods. Yeah, it's uh, very expensive, I can't. yeah. You know, and you know, if you have a little bit of Whole Foods, a little bit of Trader Joe's, some Albertsons or Fry's or Safeway, Costco, Walmart, put that all together, you can eat, you can eat pretty healthy. Well then let's go back to the labels sure. here. When I see organic versus all natural, what's the difference with that? Sure. Organic means that uh, synthetic pesticides and herbicides are not used. It also means that antibiotics are not used in the production of the food. Now, fruit and produce, you know, we don't use antibiotics. But did you know that 
Uh, almost two-thirds of the antibiotics used in the United States today are actually used on farm animals. Oh, I didn't know Over 60 percent of um, antibiotics go to chicken, pork, and beef. Doctor, A lot of it preventive. Thank you so much for joining us. I know we're running out of time here. Sure. If people wanted to get some more information about you or had additional questions about organic, where can they reach you? At the college, www.scnm.edu, or they can call 480-858-9100. Thank you so much. All right, oh, everybody, thanks, if you can, try and eat organic. It is a little bit healthier for you. We'll be right back after this. <laughs>